Hi guys, so this is going to be my first kind of um, <clears throat> art tip, and right now I just started, um, probably maybe 20 minutes ago I started this sketch. Um, this is a reference from a girl I know, and uh, this is what she looks like, so I'm just kind of having fun with it. Um, I've already asked her that I can draw this picture, so it's not weird. But, um, yeah, so I'm using an H pencil. You can get this in most brands. This is just kind of a, a company brand, uh, an H pencil. And I'm just doing that to do my, like, where everything's going. And then for the darker parts, I'm using, uh, where is it? Um, the Prismacolor Ebony, Jet Black. Um, I also have a 6B pencil. And sometimes I just use a regular school grade, uh, Murado Classic. I used to sometimes use that. Um, and then I'm all, I also have a blending stump. So this is a blending stump. Um, this can help make realistic, like, if you're trying to do realism, it's going to be really good because you can do all this beautiful blending. Um, probably when you're a younger kid, you use your fingers to smudge and you're not really supposed to do that. It's kind of a weird art rule, but uh, whatever. If, if it makes your drawing look nice and you don't have a blending stump, uh, use it. But uh, I find that this is a lot better and your hands are less messy. So anyways, uh, so what I did with this, I'm using, um, what's it called, uh, Canson Recycled Bristol, this is 14 by 17, and uh, it's nice because it's a nice big space, I have lots of, lots of room to work with, and I like this paper because uh, it's nice and thick, um, I can just really scratch in there and it's not going to rip the paper, um, so anyways. So with this, I started um, in between, like this is where the eyes are. And I think her cheekbones are a little bit high, but I'm going to be working on that. Um, so I like kind of plotted out there. Um, I like to draw the nose sometimes first, but uh, I did that last. Um, so I just did like the angles of the face. And then like there's no um, headline, so I just did the hairline. She has like these kind of bangs. They're kind of like swooping down. And then I had to look where the eyes were and then where to place the ears. And the girl in the photo has um, gauges, so I had to make her ears a little bit better, bigger. Um, and then I had to figure out how to make the angle that she's looking up. There's going to be a lot more shading in this, so um, she is going to look a little bit more like she's not looking at you, but she's looking up. So to do that, I don't know how well you can see... Um, you can see the inner part of your eye, like whenever you put on mascara, you can see that part. Um, and so you, you can tell she's looking up and there's a lot of space, like right here. And then to just add kind of um, some depth to the, to tell it's an eyeball, I put like shadow in the corners here. Um, and then, because in the, the photo the girl only has like... Um, some eyeliner and mascara just at the top, so the lashes down here are kind of going to be bare. Um, and then with the eyebrows, because she's looking up, her eyebrows are a bit raised. We have this like angle, the brow bone. Um, and then for her nose, because her she's looking up in the photo, uh, her lips and her nose look close together. So I added that, and then I added like the little, um, what's it called? It's uh, the little line between your nose and your mouth. And added that. Um, I have to fix the nostrils because because she's looking up, you're gonna see a lot of her nostrils. And then to do the other part of the eye, um, I had to look where that is, look where the eye is. I don't know how. I might have to measure that a bit better, but uh, I guess it's because this uh, drawing is on an angle. But the, always use your pencil. It's a good way to measure. And with the eyebrows as well. And then you can also do this trick. Make sure lining with the nose. 
Um, and then, because she's wearing some nice, like, red lipstick, um, I had to make her lips look nice and full. And then there's some gloss there, so I added, like, a little bit of the white to make it, um, to show this, like, a glossy lipstick. Um, she has a nose piercing as well, and she has, like, a piercing down here, so I'm gonna try and, sh like, finally shade that in, so you can tell it's, like, a little piece of metal. Um, and then slowly working her way to her neck. She has a necklace on. Um, so I'm going to be working on some hair and um, hopefully this tip was helpful. Bye. Hey guys, so it's been about an hour and a half into the drawing. And as you see, um, <clears throat> I have a lot of detail on her face. Um, I've been like working on see this will focus. Working on blending the cheeks. This one needs a bit more work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I'm going to use my 6B again. So you can see. And I don't, sometimes I don't do with the point, I do it with the side. But I'm trying to make some blending. And if this is too defined, then I can go back, fix it later, and take my blending stump. And the same thing, I just do it like. This way. Okay, so smudging this looks a bit too much definition. So sometimes I get frustrated and I just like kind of erase it a bit, but I can always go back. Some the stump's pretty dirty, so there's a lot of dirt pick up here. I'm gonna try the other end, see how that works. But yeah, as you see, I put too much definition in there. So I'm gonna like spread it out here. I don't know how well you can see that. And I also finished her other eye. But again, there's too much going on there. So I'm gonna have to like erase that a bit. I can go back to it. The corners of the eye is where a lot of shading is gonna be. Um I'm gonna have more of a darker rim here. Um, and as you see, I put like a rib cage and then butterfly wings. This is with the ebony pencil. So to do that, I'm just like coloring it in and blending because I want everything not to be too harsh. Um, as a rib rib cage, I'm just using this book as reference. It's a really great book. Um, drawing rib cages is pretty hard, but just if you place it well, then it will look good. But um, I had little butterfly details here but I might erase them. And another cool thing you can do, and I'm just gonna try this now, is you can take the stump and you, because it has still like some pencil on it. You can do like cool little designs here. You move it around. But I might erase that, I don't know. It's really cool. And then just make it a bit more Blend it. Okay. Smooth that out there. Hairlines are really harsh. There's a lot of harsh lines here, so I'm gonna fix that. I might actually trace a bit here. I'm gonna try and use my blending stump to get rid of those harsh lines. I also have to add a bit more definition on the nose.
So yeah.